Good morning, dear students. Once again, I welcome you all to the next lecture of our grammar portion. What were we doing in the last video? We had started one new topic, that is the noun gender. We were learning about gender. Okay, how many types of genders are there? Four. Four types of genders are there. Okay, masculine, feminine, then neuter, and then common. So, uh, open up your book, pencil book. Okay, your grammar book, pencil, and page number thirty-seven. Because in last video, the explanation of this chapter on page number thirty-five and thirty-six, we had learned about that. Okay. these tables and these tables we had done it now we'll continue from chapter number uh, sorry page number 37 okay and these tables you need to learn okay for the purpose of your examination because in your examination any type of question can be asked out of it okay now on page number 37 what is given the use of common gender okay what is the use of common gender if we have masculine gender separately and feminine gender separately for males and females respectively so why do we use common gender okay and how to use the common gender at which place we should use common gender so look at this table sometimes we use a common word for an animal and special word for its male and female okay if you are talking about one animal okay we are not uh, con concerned about uh, whether they are male or female we are commonly generally talking about an animal okay no matter if it is uh, feminine or masculine we don't bother about that at that time we use a common word for both female and male so these common words these common names are called common gender so if you observe this table this table which is given on page number 37 so if you observe here the middle column is for masculine masculine gender the last column is for feminine gender and if you want to talk uh, for a common commonly for both of them then we use this first column that is common common gender suppose if you are talking about a male animal ox or bull okay we are talking about only male so at that time we use the word bull or ox but if we are talking about the females okay generally the females uh, all females of any species they produce milk they give milk okay the males they don't give just like if you are talking about cows only cow the females of these species they provide us milk that's why we write a n s a on cow not on bull and there is one general common topic that cow gives us milk so only cow gives us milk not bull or ox so that's why when we are talking about especially for female category at that time we use this word cow okay so we don't talk about bull or uh, ox but if we are talking about a common common for both bull and ox so that time we use word cattle okay cattle domesticated animals which produces milk just uh, under cattle we also uh, include sheep goats okay the milk providing domesticated animals they belongs to the same category cattle but especially for bull and ox cow we use cattle in common cattle means the group which includes both males and females same wise the second option is given here dog second example dog dog is used for male male species of dog 
but if you are talking about the females we call them bitch okay bitch so but commonly if you are talking about the whole species whether they are male or female at that time commonly we call them dog means dog is a word which can be used commonly for both and especially for the male males of that category and if we want to talk about only females of that species at that time we call them bitch okay third is for male we use drag for female we call it duck and for both commonly if you are talking about the whole species at that time again we are using the female category duck that you need to remember that you need to memorize okay just like cock hen murga murgi but if you are talking about commonly we call them fowl f o w l fowl commonly if you are talking about, there is a uh, space or there is a house built uh, in my yard especially for fowl fowl means both for hen and for cocks then cot cot is commonly used for both male and female cot but billy cot means male cot and nanny cot means female cot if is if we are going to especially talking about male or female at that time we use uh, billy cot and nanny cot just like goose goose is commonly used for a special kind of bird which is white in color snow goose if you have read in the chapter snow goose okay so the female is called goose but the male is called gander just like in the example of duck drake duck and commonly used for uh, like female duck so it is similar to the duck goose is actually a word which is specially used for the females but commonly we also call the whole group goose just like horse horse is a male horse is used this word is used for the males especially but if you want to talk about only females at that time we use the word mare okay what do we pronounce it mare horse mare and commonly if we are talking about the whole species at that time common word is horse just like pig pig is used for common uh, means the whole species that is a common name of that species pig but if you are talking about only only males at that time we call them boar what what we call boar and for the females we call so s o w so sheep sheep is commonly used okay just like goat sheep is commonly used but for the males especially for grown up means young uh, in full size they are called ram and the females are called ivy swan swan is commonly used you know swan swan is just like a bird which is also in white in color but for the masculine gender we use cob c o b cob and for feminine word we use pen p e n which is also used for this thing this is also a pen so that is uh, an example by with help of which you can remember that pen is also the name okay this is how we use the common word for the whole species ir ir regarding of their masculine or feminine use of personal pronouns to refer gender now this is very very much important for all of us because some of the student they are making mistakes of the uh, pronouns also when the special name is not given we use pronouns instead in place of nouns so the words which are used in place of nouns are called pronouns just like radha riya roshni these are the proper names but these are particular names and these names belongs to generally they these names are 
kept for female categories only okay if we are uh, keeping this type of names for the boys then it will look funny okay so that is specially used for girls so according to their name we can easily recognize that these are the names of the girls so we use in place of these particular girls names we use she she s h e she is used for girls feminine but for for, for boys we use he so that is that uh, pronoun uh, is used for the especially for the male categories and this pronoun is used especially for female category okay he is my brother so brother and he okay these are relevant brother is used for male category that's why we are using he she she is my sister so especially sister is a girl so that's why we are using this pronoun that is that also belongs to a female category we use pronouns of the third person to refer gender now you know what is third person in english pronouns are also divided into three persons first person second person and third person okay first person second person third person now what are first person second person and third person let me introduce you first time okay if you have not read about persons so first we uh, next see about persons what is person that is one first person in english grammar okay that is uh, second person third person okay this is a new topic for you i think you have not learned about the persons before in your fourth class so that's why i am introducing you first time what are persons especially uh, we are learning about the pronouns so what is first person suppose two persons are talking me and suppose you we both are talking okay so if i am saying you something if i am telling you something okay so here two persons are talking to each other one is me and second is you so here who is talking suppose i am telling you something uh riya you are very cute girl suppose riya is standing before me and i am talking to her and i am telling riya you are very nice girl okay so here i am who is speaking the person so first person is the person who is talking who is speaking so first person is i suppose i am talking so i is first person and suppose uh, me and my friend is also standing here we both are talking to riya so at that time we are talking not i am talking we are talking to riya so i and we these two are called first person pronouns okay what do we call them pronouns so pronouns first person i and we who uh, at the time who is speaking that depends uh, it depends on that and suppose riya is answering me and uh, who is the listener listener at this sentence listener is riya so riya you are a cute girl you you are a cute girl so whom i am talking you who is the listener riya so you we are talking about only pronoun that's why i am not writing riya here riya is a noun okay so you second person who is listener that is uh, that person is called you uh, that person is called second person now who are third person suppose we both are talking about the third person who is not present here or even though he is present here but we are talking about him or her 
whether she is a girl or boy suppose we are talking about he is a very good boy we both are talking about one other boy and we are talking that he is a very good boy or we must uh, we must be talking about some girl she is very nice girl okay she is very cute girl she is very intelligent so we are talking about she the third person who is either not present here or maybe present here but we are talking about the third person the speaker and listener they are talking about third person he she okay we may be talking about it okay it is a pronoun which is generally used for the non living things just like it is a marker it is a board okay it is a fan it is a light it is a mobile so we are talking about non living things so for the non living things we use it okay it and it is also used for animals yes whether they are living but even they are living and we also use for trees trees and animals we uh, they are living things but even then we call them it means it is used for non living things and for the uh, plants and animals just like it is a dog okay it is a very good scenery okay it is very nice to meet you so for the non living things we use it so it is again the third person we are talking about we me and you we both are talking about the third person or third thing then they t e h e y they they means if if we are talking about only single he is a boy she is a girl it is a pan but we are talking about more than one at that time we use for the plurals we use they they are going they are good boys they are good girls okay so they they is used for many persons but these are again third person so who is first person in very very simple thing to remember to memorize is that you keep in your mind that first person is whether i or we means those who are talking who are speaking speaker person to whom you are talking who is standing in front of you that is the second person first person then second person who is listener speaker is first person listener is second person and the third person means we both are talking about anybody else that anybody else is called third person so these pronouns can be divided into these three person first person second person and third person okay now according to that depending on this and keeping this in our mind let's see this next table okay we use pronouns of the third person the pronouns of the third person now you understand the pronouns of the third person to refer gender okay to refer gender just for, for example he is used for only males she is used for only females it is a neuter gender which is used for uh, non living things okay and they they is a common gender because it can be used for both girls and boys they are going whether they are girls or boys we are i am saying that they are or oh, they are good girls they are bad boys so they can be commonly used for boys and girls both okay so that's why it is common now again if we talk about pronouns so pronouns can be subjective objective or possessive okay if i divide this third person pronoun into three so that is third person is again divided let me clear you 
we are not talking about this first person and second person we are talking about third person so let me clear you if i further divide this into three columns just like this is third person okay now third person subjective pronoun okay basically it is pronoun third person pronoun so subjective pronoun objective pronoun and possessive pronoun now let me clear what is what are these what is subjective what is objective and what is possessive let me clear you now now these are subjective pronouns subjective means what when we start any any sentence we start generally with subject just like he is going so he is in the place of subject first uh, subject is the uh, first uh, space or first place for starting any subject who is the doer of any action that is called he is going so he is the main in main role in this sentence we are talking about he so he is acting like subject of the sentence so that's why it is called subjective case objective case him suppose i uh, i am giving my pen to him i am giving my pen to him him usko dene ja raha hu so subject is me who is doing this action i am doing this action so i is subject here but the object is him i am going uh, i am giving my pen to him now him is the at, at the end of the sentence and generally at the end of the sentence who is there object subject helping verb main verb then object so when the pronoun is at the place of first place means subject place it is called subjective case and when it is on the place of the last and object so at that time it is called objective case or objective pronoun so when the sentence is start it starts with he but when the sentence is ended it ends with him now what is then possessive what is possessive possessive what is the meaning of possess 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 means to hold something to have a right on something that i i have one mobile if i say i have one mobile so it shows that one mobile is in under my possession under my possession mere kabze mein mera hai that is possession okay this house belongs to me so i can see i can say that this house is under my possession mere kabze mein hai that is mine mera hai so the words which shows that kiska hai uska hai iska hai tumhara hai mera hai that possession the words the pronouns which shows the possession of somebody that is called possessive so the pronouns which shows the possessions they are called possessive pronouns just like for boys he him then we call his pen whose pen is this his pen is this so his h i s now this is you should remember that him is used for the male gender he is used for male gender and he is also used for male gender especially boys men okay any male for any male okay you can use he is only if you use her then it will be a mistake same wise she she is used if she is used for a girl means a female category then the in objective case suppose we use uh, in some sentence objective case at that time we for the girls especially we use 
her. Let me clear you with some example. Hmm. She is a good girl. Okay. So she is used for girl. That is understood. Now I am giving my pen to her. I am giving my pen to her. Now it clears that if I am using her in the place of object. Okay. In the place of subject I is used. I. But in object to whom I am giving this? To her. It means it clears that I am giving a pen to any female. Not a male. Because I am using her. So in objective case. Her is used for girls. If I am using that, I am giving my pen to him. So it is already clear. You can understand that I am giving a pen to any male category, whether it is a boy or man. Or if I am giving this pen to her, it means the receiver is a girl or a lady. Okay. Now, possessive case. If I want to say that this pen is hers, this pen belongs to her. I am returning only. So, if I want to show the possession of any female. So, at that time again I am using her. Or you can use hers. This pen is hers. S is added. Hers. For some time only her is used. This is her pen. This is her pen. Means this pen belongs to some female whether she is a girl or a lady but it is clear that she is a female because i am using her or hers same wise uh, it it is a neuter gender okay neuter means it is used for non living things or sometimes used for animals and trees so at that time it is used suppose i am starting any sentence that's like it is a marker now it i am starting with it subject is it so in subjective case we use it now i am going to throw it i am going to throw it now it is used at the object place at the end of the sentence it it is used as same it. I am going to throw it. Again it is same. It. Now uh, for the possessive. Possessive case. If I want to show that. Uh, I want to tell you that this cap belongs to this marker. This cap. Whose cap is this? Its cap. Its key cap is this its cap so if i want to show the possession of anything at that time i use its its pen okay its cap its cover okay it's like that now they they is a third person pronoun okay which is used for plural these three are used for singular he is used for singular person. She is used for a single person. It is used again for singular. But they, they is used for more than one. Two, three, many, thousand, lakhs of the people. They can be used. But not for a single. But for plural. So, they, if I start the sentence, they are going to market. They are going to market means they are the persons more than one means two persons are going or three persons are going or many persons are going okay so but they is used commonly for both males and females just like they are going to market now they is used at the beginning of the sentence at the place of the subject so here we call it subjective case the third person of subjective case now if let's see the second example i am mm, i am scolding them 
suppose there are some students who those who are sitting in the last bench of the class and they are doing some mischief some mis mischievous work they are making noise so i am scolding them shut up keep quiet that is scolding dart round so i am scolding them 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 is used for when we are talking about subjective case at the end of the sentence object is used sorry objective case okay objective case them is used at the end of the subject and which which reflects to they means more than one more than one student two three four many students are doing some mischievous work there so i am scolding them now if i want to show their position their position okay just like mm, uh, just like these pens these pens these books many things they uh, they are owned by them they are owned by them means this is their book their, this is their pens these are the, their pens ye sab unki pens hain so so at that time if if i want to say that this has the position of more than one means many have the position on this means this building belongs to them that means many of the person so this is their school their school means the owner is more than one plural t h e i r their and is theirs this is school is theirs this is a school is theirs okay so if you notice that in the possessive case of pronoun third person pronoun if you see s is always there he is already s is there her we had s hers it we had s its their here also we had s theirs unki hai okay so this is the explanation of this table we have studied about only third person here also we have some subjective objective and possessive just like i me and mine m y my and m i n e mine okay we okay we us u s us humko and our o u r our this is our class this is our class you remain same you objective case you and third possessive case your or yours again we add as yours this pen is yours like that okay our we use ours this class is ours okay we add generally s at the end now let's study the next example what is given here now read the following sentences and understand the use of personal pronouns referring gender personal pronouns referring genders just like i and we they don't show any uh, gender i can be used if uh, girl is speaking she can use i i am going and boy we we is also used can be used for both boys and girls it depends on who is talking so we are you is again common because it can be used for either for girl or for boy okay them is also used so these four i we you and they they are they belong to common gender it belongs for neuter gender and he belongs to masculine gender she belongs to feminine gender okay means this is uh, masculine gender this is feminine gender this is neuter gender and the remaining four are common gender now let's see first example my elder brother lives in mumbai 
my elder brother lives in mumbai now if you see brother brother is used for masculine gender not for girls now he often visits kolkata to meet me he often visits often means generally he comes to visit me to kolkata to meet me he often so he is used for brother since it is the subject is brother means he is a male so that's why we are using he we don't use she okay i have a sister now sister is a feminine gender so we will use the feminine pronoun to represent her i have a sister one sentence she is very intelligent now she is subjective case she is very intelligent i gave her a book to read now i have i gave her now this is objective case i gave her a book to read now her is used because of she because of the female sister is a female hai na feminine gender that's why we are using the same category my aunt is a lean lady my aunt is a very rich she is a lean lady so my aunt aunt again belongs to the feminine gender so that's why we use here this farm house is hers or either we can say this is her um farm house this is her farm house or we can say this farm house is hers means if we use these words at the end of the sentence very end of the sentence that's why at that position we use as hers if we use at the end of the sentence if we use them in the middle of the sentence at that time we use only what at the middle of the sentence just like this is her farm house the farm house is at the end but before farm house her so there we no need to use as as is used at the end of the sentence so why we are using hers because aunt is a lady so for ladies we use hers our uncle has a pet dog now our uncle has a pet dog uncle is again a gender masculine gender and dog is again a masculine gender or commonly used now <clears throat> he cannot do without it cannot do without it it means bina uske reh nahi sakte cannot do without it means he loves very much our uncle has a pet dog he cannot do without it wo uske bina bilkul nahi reh sakte kiske bina without it it is used again for uh, sorry objective case because it is at the place of object so objective case it he is subjective case used for uncle and it is objective case because it is at the end of the uh, sentence which which belongs to object so that's why he cannot do without it my sons are sincere students my sons are sincere student now students these books are theirs my sons are sincere students sincere students means objective case and related to these objective theirs because sons are plural plural in form that's why we are using theirs these books are theirs so i hope that you have understood this topic now after keeping all these material in your mind after memorizing going through this chapter one or two or three times again and again you will realize that now you can uh, you have understood this topic so let's i give you some tasks to complete for tomorrow means today or tomorrow you can complete this with the pencil okay these exercises are given on the page number 38 so on the next page so what you need to do you need to solve it with using pencil 
and you will solve it here means in exercise a write the feminine forms of the following words means masculine genders are given you need to write only feminine words just like drag so what is the female of drag author what is the female of author horse what is the word used for the females of the horse so like that you need to complete and all are given here if you are confused still confused for spelling or anything you can consult these tables everything is given there so i think first you use your mind your memory power then you complete this suppose you are not able to write three or four then at the end you can see or you can visit the last table but don't see before it because you analyze yourself analyze your memory first suppose there are 12 words so how many suppose you have written eight because you are very confident at eight but four are not you are not able to solve the four so leave it but don't see again and again only only first you complete all 12 then count that eight you have done now four you don't know then you go back and you can see what are the correct answer of those those four you can give yourself the marks out of 12 eight are correct so you can mark a tick and you can count that i have learned eight out of 12 then you can see after this you can see at the back side and you can complete the table question number b fill in the blanks with the appropriate masculine or feminine nouns now sometimes the exercise are given in the both vice versa means if you are provided with the feminine so you need to write the masculine and if you are provided with the masculine you need to write the feminine and again if you are doing this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here then 8 9 10 11 12 14 is are there these this is a crossword you can see crossword so how to fill this crossword this is related to this means uh this is a puzzle type okay are you like do you like to solve the puzzles okay so it is for you now suppose number 1 this is down means up to down these these are given 1 1 2 7 are given upwards to downwards now across means from left to right suppose uh, first is given a uh, feminine is given poetess so what is the masculine of poetess is poet now where is number 1 suppose uh, this is l okay don't confuse this is l not 1 one. one number is given i think uh, let me see where is 1 2 mm, this is 1 one. one number here it is one number from upward to downward so p o e t that is poet so i have to write here also and here also second number host so the female of the host is you know what is the female of host then where is the second number this is second number up to down so first you fill all the up to down 1 to 8 1 to 7 then 8 is across suppose here here it is 8 across some letters are already filled you need to fill the remaining letters actor what is the feminine of actor you need to fill here so it is very interesting okay if you have done all the 14 correct you can give yourself 14 out of 14 marks then of course i will send you the correct answers of these screenshots of this so you can match with my answers also and you can give yourself marks there so let me finish my lecture here okay take care Thank you